Hello, welcome to the Facebook Live. Uh, we are here at Gratco Jets Cross once again for the December Garden Notes with Horticulturalist Phil. Thanks for joining. Thank you, good morning. It's a little bit hopeful we don't blow away. <laughs> yes, the wind has just picked up. Yeah, so. perfect timing, perfect timing. Um, so thanks for joining us. The garden email went out yesterday, I believe, Monday. Monday, Monday would have gone out yeah. to all of the garden members that we've got here at Stratco and our South Australia Super Savers. So if you are wanting to get those emails, every other piece of comms that we do do for our garden members, just sign up on the website, head into the store, say you want to be a garden club member, uh, and we'll sign you on up. But we're just going to go through all the December stuff. Lots of December stuff to well, go through today. This so is probably the most stacked this table has absolutely. ever been in the Absolutely. It's, it's a, at risk of falling apart. So. Probably, well, we, yeah. we might be at risk of falling apart. Maybe. Well, yeah, we'll yeah, absolutely. see how we go. Um, so obviously we've got some really warm weather coming um, tomorrow for Saturday as well. It's going to be 33 degrees or something yeah, that's again. Right, yeah. We've only had two very hot days so far. So I feel like it's been probably a little bit of a, a nice ease into that hot weather for the garden. I think it shocked people. Really? I was going to say the well, opposite. Well, it shocked it's... people, but it's not like we had five days of 30 degrees. No, at but least. it came out of nowhere. We've had sort of it did a bit. You know, floods and uh, you know, terrible. Okay, I terrible. see your point. I see your point. Uh, but it's nice to see the sun, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely to yeah, see the sun. Definitely. It's nice to be outside. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I was. I showed you that quote the other day. I don't know if anyone is going to be interested in this. But I found this this meme online that said, did I kill the plant or did it survive? Or did it not have what it takes to survive in a fast-paced environment? Which is the kind of way I look uh, after plants. a way of getting out of saying, well, I killed it. Well, I haven't killed it yet. Oh, okay. It's just a bit burnt on the edges. The heat got to it, all right? <laughs> Maybe it did shock me. Okay. Um, so, yeah, obviously the warm weather's coming in. We're going to talk about Christmas is two and a half weeks away. I don't want to think about it. I haven't done any of my presents yet. Well, this could be plants. That's true. Um, the weather has been slightly kind to us, but I think it's going to really pick up now, hopefully. Uh, keeping on top of all of the stuff in the garden ahead of the holiday period as well. Perfect plants for this time of year and gift ideas. So we've got heaps to go through. Let's kick it off. Christmas, two and a half weeks away. Mm. And you haven't done any purchases? <laughs> I think I made one. Oh. It's not but, very good. but you know, like good. you said about the weather changing mm. and it started to get sunny and stuff like it's probably the smart way mm. to leave your plant purchases till a couple of days before Christmas. That way you're gonna have the maybe, nicest, healthiest looking. Maybe plants. everyone's gonna end up getting plants from my family. Oh there you go, that'd my be sister nice. from Tasmania gets a plant, take it back. I <laughs> you can figure that out. That's, that's oh, we could, I don't know, a big envelope or something. We could yeah, it's, I could just get a seedlings. Oh uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll fix something out for I'm sure. Seedlings for Zoe, my sister. Anyway, uh, and then with the weather as well, so I had two very hot days. They can really test out the garden. Tell you what, these Those mosquitoes, mosquitoes are terrible really, today. Yeah. They're not really touching me, thank goodness. Oh. Um, so thinking about adding some quick additions to the garden, one of the things that Chris did mention in the blog was some potted colour, So, which I'll lift up so you can actually see it. Yeah, in we've the got video. a few different options here. Um, now, so. so a really low cost option, easy, just put it straight in the ground. A, a, a simple budget option for just sprucing up yeah it's probably area. a bit late now for seedlings so mm -hmm. we've um sort of invested more heavily in sort of the more advanced plants mm -hmm. um just a couple of samples here we've got vincas that have finally come in now that we've started to see some sun vincas vincas so they sort of look like impatience or begonias They're but very pretty. they love the heat so um you know leading into this christmas period that's the best plant that you could probably put into a sunny spot mm -hmm. um you've got the ever loved petunias We've got some snapdragons. They're just in bud, so by the time Christmas comes out, um, they should be looking amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, there's impatiens, begonias, all sorts of other things. Mm. Uh, you know, alyssum, lobelia, plenty of stuff that you can be planting for sure. Yeah, awesome. And then outside of that as well, um, we spoke about keeping on top of everything in the garden, so not neglecting those indoor areas, areas under your patio. You know, even though you might be entertaining and trying to keep it under the shade, there's no need that we need to sacrifice for making it look good. So, uh, and there's plenty of things. I mean, you know, I mean, if you're looking for sort of color, mm. I mean, plenty of hydrangeas oh, and they're looking amazing. And stunning. I mean, this is an average one that we picked off the, the bench. Just That's average. To, yeah, I know. Like, wow. didn't want to put sort of a, the best thing that we had on show just to give people the idea we'll of. Give it a fair expectation of what it would be absolutely. like. Absolutely. So, this is still very good. So, I, I think as an average looking plant, that's just it's amazing. Mind blowing. So, mm. that sort of thing, the begonias this year that we've bought through. Um, look at the size of them. I mean, That's they're crazy. Mental. So um, these come in red and pink. Um, they're from so, Queensland? 
No, they're, they're local. They're, they're local. local. Yep. Yeah. Um, and this one, this is a double impatient. So this comes in about I don't know, six or eight colours. Um, plenty of stock available. All coming into to bud and flower. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, pop that into a pot. You know, around your, your deck or something like that. It'll look fantastic. Yeah, yeah, and definitely some some easy options to get the colour in the garden as well. We've got sunflowers as well. Yeah, it's I mean that's so, that's one that you could even gorgeous. gift someone. You know. Well, I was just thinking about this hydrangea. I might. Oh, is that what it is? No. What is this? Getting yeah, hydrangea. Oh. But getting that to to tell maybe. Sometimes I get them confused with chrysanthemums for some reason. Oh, Mother's Day for chrysanthemums. Mother's Day. Yeah. I love chrysanthemums. They're my favourite. But I might gift this as a. This would be a nice housewarming gift. Taking one of these over instead of a bottle of wine. Mm. No, yeah, take absolutely. A plant. I mean. This time of year, that just look crazy. I mean, how good is that? And then you could know how much that person cares about you if they keep it alive. <laughs> when you come back in a month or six months. All right. I don't know whether mine would still be there. <laughs> anyway, um, and then another thing to keep on top of as well is just making sure um, before doing it or yet outdoor entertaining that your barbecue is ready to go. I know that's not really in the garden area. I, mean, I don't even know how garden. I can turn that to garden. But... Uh, well, it's just making sure that you're actually ready to host, you know, every all the hoses, everything's safe, ready to go. It's clean. Hopefully you haven't left it Got the fuel, got the your gas, summer. got your, your heat bees, got your... Oh, yeah. Your, all that. So I, did, I did that last weekend. Did for, you? Just so that I didn't forget for Christmas. See, I'm not the only one. No, so... Well, Chris isn't the only one. I didn't write Yeah, book. I know. He's Chris written all that down. Chris is not the only one. Yep. Uh, and the lawn as well, making sure it might need some, some tender love and care. Yeah, TLC. people have started asking, I guess now that you can go outside because the sun's out, mm. people have started asking questions about lawn. Mm-hmm. Um, look, it, it probably is way behind where it should be for this time yeah. of year, so... Um, if you are planning on having sort of that backyard cricket game, you know, it's probably going to be more like Perth than, yeah. than you know, <laughs> Melbourne at the moment. Yeah. So, um, a bit dry, mm. um, but it's time to feed, um, you know, so things like even, you know, checking your irrigation just to make sure that the water is getting out properly mm-hmm. um, getting your food on, um, aerating yeah. the lawn, you know, all those sorts of things that you can do before it gets to be 40 mm. degrees. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. You're yeah. looking at the mosquitoes, aren't you? <laughs> you are. <laughs> Yeah, just I don't know. They're just not. Maybe you need to wear a blazer for the next life. I should have sprayed up before I came oh, on. They're really not touching me at oh, all. Dear. Um, and then another thing that we wanted to talk about as well is we've got these beautiful plants here. So if you don't have a Christmas tree yet, live Christmas trees. I mean, that's always one. a good option. Yeah. So woolly bushes we've got, and they're a great size. They come mm. with the bow, um, mm-hmm. red pot, I guess, to, to be. Do a bit they all Christmas-y. come with this? Yeah, they do. Oh. Yeah. So they've got a bow on it. You a can't little bit see of tinsel it. in that on it's it, so and it would look crazy. Um, we've also gone with something that's probably a tree for the future. Um, Norfolk Island pines um, have always been a good uh, option for Christmas trees. Mm-hmm. Um, they're a reasonable size now, but you know, you put that into a bigger pot, um, and that's one that you can sort of continue to grow on for years to come. So, yeah, and we, and like we stock these every year. Really? Yeah, this much. is probably the well, third or fourth the, year in a row that we've been able to get yeah, them. For sure. for the last, yeah, for the last few years. So, yeah, a, a great option if you're looking to do something a bit different for Christmas this year and you're wanting an instant kind of impact, go for the woolly, woolly bush? Is that oh, I think so, yeah. I mean, But if you may be, may be thinking ahead, because um, we only really have the Norfolks in the festive season. Yeah, um, or, prob- yeah that's, that's a fair so you'd assumption. you'd always be I mean, thinking ahead. You'd be looking for something for the future and, and yeah, that's for that's sort right of uh, a nice impact for now. Yeah. Mm. Oh, uh, and then some other gift ideas as well. Obviously, we've already touched on the hydrangeas and everything else that we've got here that is gorgeous. Another thing for the kids, if you can grab me one of these oh, they're down at the, the front, front here. here. Now, I we've took just one of these, these home for my kids. Did you? Yeah, they killed it. So, oh. um, so that's my You're not part. very good at raising uh, plant garden Well, I gave people. it to them and I said, do you understand how it works? They went, yeah. Okay. And then they just flooded it with water. Does it have easy steps on here? It's not hard. Oh, you can put little hair ties around it and make it really cute. Oh, if you get it so that, if I explain that far, what it is. <laughs> so what we've got here is we've just gotten these in. They're in our South Australia stores only with the garden centres. Um, but they are little grass hair kits for the kids. I think they're about $5 each. Yeah, that wouldn't be worth it. They're, they're, they're a really uh, cost, you know, budget-friendly option. Definitely a great stocking filler. Uh, and what all you need to do is it comes with the, a ceramic pot, which can either be a kitten or a puppy got a little face on it uh, these are in the catalog as well if you're wanting a, a closer look um soil pellet one pack of cat grass seeds instructions and growing tips which feels his tempting follow well, just the don't submerge or the growing like, tips absolutely so <laughs> so 
in the catalogue they do have the grass on top but the whole idea of this gift is that the kids would grow the grass themselves then they can trim it they can put little hair ties around it and give it cute little hair it's a great idea yeah, yeah and and you know when they do it properly it, it is yeah. it's a bit of fun yeah you, know, you just pop it on the the window sill probably kitchen window sill something like mm. that um and they grow fairly quickly so yeah. um you know, like you say, pop it into the, the stocking and mm. have a bit of fun sort of, you know, yeah, yeah. in the afternoon, Christmas. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. The kids would, kids would love this. Another option too, if you're looking for something that's really easy to grow, is we do we have just brought in for maybe the kitchen lovers, people who love to cook, the chefs, we've got those little windowsill pots now with oh, the yeah, herbs exactly. in them. Yep. Um, so what, have, what what kind of herbs have we – is it like basil and – uh, I mean, yeah, basil and thyme and yeah. chives would be the, the common ones. Which the other great thing about those is it actually helps your kitchen smell great all the time too. Yeah, I've or, heard. you know, I mean, at the same time, I mean, around the barbecue area for yeah. summertime, you yep. know, so you, you're cooking your barbie and you just sort of turn around take your a little bit of, you know, and pop it straight I'm on. I'm the and... kind of person that always has to go to the shops for herbs and it really infuriates me. Oh, really? Yeah, because I don't want to buy a whole thing of coriander. I just want a little bit. Oh, well, there you go. Perfect. So I'm just going to grow it. I'll grab you one sort of when we finish here. Oh, maybe I won't keep it alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then outside of that as well, I just wanted to say we want to wish you a Merry Christmas from Stratco. We hope you have a safe uh, and great holiday period. Uh, make sure if you are outside in the garden to wear sunscreen, put a hat on, make sure you can stay in the shade wherever possible. Be smart. About Hydrated. It. Hydrated is a big one. Absolutely. Water during the day. Celebrate at night, maybe. Oh. <laughs> with the barbecue that you know and the plants and you got the basil and everything else around it absolutely the potted plants um but nice. yeah have a great holiday period um yeah the lives will be back in january of next year we might pop on for a little surprise one uh in the week leading up to christmas just in case you have forgotten again to do the last minute gifts we might uh, I'll probably still be one of the people that still hasn't bought for everyone. Yes, yeah, so we might uh, do a, an update on what you've got. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll tell everyone. Everyone who knows me, I'm gifting. Don't look. Don't yeah, watch. Annabelle's last minute gift. Yeah, my sister's getting seedlings. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments. Feel the horticulturalist, um, the trained horticulturalist will answer them. Definitely not I'll get me. around to them to this afternoon. Yes, you yeah. will. Uh, and yeah, be safe this weekend out in the sun. Uh, I think it's hot probably in most states. So just, uh, yeah. Have fun. Absolutely. Yeah. All Thank right. you. Merry Christmas.